Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Anaheim, California. I'm Wayne Forrest, Features Editor at Rotmini.com, and we are in Anaheim at the annual meeting of the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging. And uh, our special guest, honored guest today, is the uh, president, incoming president of SNMMI, Dr. Vaskin Dilsizian, a professor of radiology and medicine at the University of Maryland uh, School of Medicine and chief of uh, nuclear medicine as well for the uh, University of Maryland Medical Center. And Dr. Dilsizian, thank you for taking the time to join us. Wayne, it's much appreciated. Wayne, thank you very much for the interview. Appreciate it. I know you have a lot on your plate uh, coming up uh, over the next uh, 12 months as president of the uh, society. And uh, one of the areas that uh, you are very keen on, I understand, is outreach. Uh, yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, first I wanted to uh, say how honored I am to represent and be the spokesperson of the Society of Nuclear Medicine. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a fantastic field. It's an exciting area. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, great developments that are being approved recently, both in diagnostic and therapeutics. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been the chairman of the outreach uh, section of the Value mm -hmm. Initiative. And, uh, and the the, our goal is, is to communicate all this excitement that we see to our patients, to the government agencies who have control over approving these agents and reimbursing for mm -hmm. them. Uh, we want to the, uh, communicate these exciting imaging opportunities with our referring physician or oncologists, uh, who may be cardiologists, neurologists, and make sure that these diagnostic and therapeutic uh, tests are incorporated into the patient management guidelines. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, so we've been quite successful in doing that, but we have a long way to go still. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, uh, the very important part, which is what we're doing today, mm -hmm. is to make sure that the media is able to communicate mm -hmm. uh, what we do and what, what the new developments are to the community in large. Mm -hmm. Both starting at local chapters and state level, we'd like our members to be ambassadors and our patients to communicate how a diagnostic or a therapeutic study changed their life or impacted their symptoms. And I think that this would be fantastic if you could communicate that both in, within the United States, and the, since SNMI is a global leader of the field, we'd like to expand this and worldwide. Yeah, and this, uh, I was gonna there. say, this outreach yeah. does really go just beyond North America, but really the whole world you're trying to target. Yes, and uh, fortunately, uh, I think that uh, just by looking at the international abstracts uh, that were submitted to the scientific sessions, I would say about two thirds are international. And when you look at our journal, which is, has a pretty high impact factor journal nuclear medicine, about three fourths of the submissions are international. Mm -hmm. So by definition, we are an international society. Mm -hmm. uh, at least the international members feel value in coming to these meetings and submitting their scientific work. With that in mind, I would like to invite them not only become members of the society, I would write to society to be multidisciplinary and multinational uh, to incorporate these international members who are highly productive in our councils, in our committees, because their experience with their patients would simply augment what we do and what we write in white page documents and guidelines. So I would like to in, 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 increase our uh, representation of international members on our, or our society leadership. Needless to say, the future of the society is going to depend on the next generation of uh, nuclear uh, medicine uh, technologists. Yeah. Where do you see the uh, the next generation uh, coming from, yeah. and how do you draw young people into this uh, profession? You know, that, that's a fantastic question, because uh, the way you judge any discipline mm -hmm. is to say, tell me about your next generation. Mm -hmm. Tell me where the next uh, residents are coming from. For a while, there's been uh, a lot, if you say, there's this kind of sta plateau of residents coming to the field. Uh, what's changed is not only the development of new radio tracers, but all of the new instrumentations that are coming being developed. So if the field, as you know, you need radio isotopes, but you need the camera to image. Mm -hmm. So the development of the technology of the cameras have been fantastic. Mm -hmm. You have so-called hybrid systems, where you have the nuclear cameras joined with the anatomical cameras, either CT or MRI. So in the past, you needed to be either nuclear medicine specialist reading the nuclear component, standalone PET, sure. or a radiologist reading the CT or MRI. Now that 
you don't have an option. Mm -hmm. You're getting these hybrid systems. It's uh, required, more or less, mm -hmm. for the next generation trainees to be hybrid trained. You need that cross-training, absolutely. And so we're seeing a lot of the next generation uh, residents uh, being dual boarded, both in the American Board of Nuclear Medicine and the American Board of Radiology. And job opportunities are fantastic out there, mm -hmm. because if you're dual boarded, uh, and obviously you're trained in the latest and the newest things, it seems like universities, as well as uh, large private practice groups, would like to, uh, 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 you know, uh, hire the next generation young trainees who are expertise in things that they don't have that expertise, which uh, in, based on their past training. Yeah, it's a great future ahead for the society, and yeah. uh, a lot of ground to, uh, a lot of ground to uh, cover. But uh, yeah. I think it uh, looks like everyone's on the right track. I think so. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to the uh, year, and uh, hopefully we'll report back to you about the accomplishments of the year. We look forward to it. Thank you. Once again, our uh, guest uh, today is Dr. Vaskin Dilsizian. He's the incoming president of the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging. I'm Wayne Forrest, and Dr. Dilsizian, thank you again for joining us. Thank you, it's Wayne. much appreciated. Same here.